Okay, guys, I am done complaining for now about how much Canada sucks when it comes to protein related stuff or like energy drink flavors because 2024, all right? We finally got Ghost. It's only at 7 Eleven, but whatever. We, only, we finally have Ghost, all right? That's one thing. And then I went to. Walmart. So I wasn't kind of feeling the greatest today. I wasn't sad. I was just, you know, the rain. I was a little down or whatever, low energy. Not low energy anymore because it can rain all at once. I went to Walmart. All right. To get wrist straps because I was like, you know what, Lear, you keep talking about how much it would, you know, uh, uh, be helpful using wrist straps for back day and for other days, but for, especially for back day, but you keep, you know, preaching about it and you don't even have wrist straps. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to get wrist straps. It's kind of late, but I went to Walmart. They didn't have wrist straps, but I was like, ah, whatever. Maybe I'll try tomorrow. Excuse me. But what did they have? Oh man. The new flavor, new flavor, it was not new in America, but they finally have, this is cookies and cream, Oreo flavor, all right? They also had churro, it was sold out. I saw the little sticker, I was like, what the? And you heard me talk about this one before. The Why does my phone cut out like that? I don't understand. Anyways, Galactic Brownie. Cosmic brownie, you know, when you're a kid, it's those shitty little brownies that you would eat. But I am so excited. And it's what? 180 calories, 20 grams of protein. This one is 190, 20 grams of protein. Bear Bells, which their flavor is amazing, but it's 200 calories, 200 grams, uh, sorry, 220 grams of protein. Here's the thing though. On top of this, I looked on Amazon. Bear Bells, when I wanted to get them last time, they cost about $130 for a box of a dozen, which uh, amounts to like $11, $12 after tax per protein bar. One protein bar. This whole thing costs $13. There's six bars in here. But yeah, it's insane. But then, when I looked it up just now, or yesterday, two days ago, they were selling from GNC, which is a Canadian like fitness supplement store. GNC was selling them for a reasonable price, like $30 for a box of 12. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the, uh, some, the right person heard me complain talking about storming the capital, but we're finally getting the good stuff. Finally, all right, now we just need that protein bread or like protein wraps. Like we have our own protein wraps, but they suck. They're so tiny. You can't wrap anything. Make them bigger. Um, so yeah, some of that and some more uh, pop flavors, please. But for now, I'm done complaining about this stuff. This right here, I am so excited about. Pro tip. These, I'll let you know what it like, like what I think of them. But like they, they replace candy bars for me. Um, I like the peanut caramel pro, pure protein, but those bear bells, those will replace a candy bar for me. They are that good. And oh yeah, you don't know what candy bars. I do. I do. I know what candy bars taste like. I still remember. I still have them once in a while. But those bear bells, whoo, I would take that over like a Snickers or something. Um, it's just that good. So I'm going to, but it's only the cookies and cream flavor. There's no other flavor. The cashew flavor costs $120. But uh, yeah, so I am super excited about this. As you can tell, I am high energy right now. Might be the energy drink. 
or just due to the fact that you know I got all this stuff and bear bells and whatnot. Um, I am so happy. I left the store with no wrist straps, but something even better. And the biggest smile on my face. I was walking around just cheesing. People were probably looking at me like I was crazy. But I have a lot to be happy about right now. Okay, so fat loss tip. Find a good protein bar and you can enjoy it like candy. All right, it's actually a good treat because I consider these treats. All right, back day, no wrist straps, but tomorrow, hopefully, I will go and buy wrist straps after work. We will see what time I get off, but the goal is by next back day, I will have the wrist straps that I keep talking about. I don't care if they're cheap, you know, whatever wrist straps, as long as it's something to help with my grip. All right. I'm going to get in there, do some cardio, and then get to some back and rear delt workouts. I'll see you in a sec. All right, so I've been talking about going slow for the past few weeks or a month or so. Um, and I do enjoy it. I do feel it a lot. But I also do enjoy just kind of like lifting a lot of weight. And I do feel it kind of in a different way. So I think I'm going to do both styles, kind of switching in and out on different days or just like separate sets during the same workout. Because um, I do like the variation. Some days I may not be feeling the one style and I'll just go back to the other. But um, yeah, for right now we're going to do uh, lat, uh, lat pullovers and uh, I'm just going to go heavy and just have at it. And then the next set, maybe I'll lower the weight. Who knows? It's all a mystery. All right, second set, slow and controlled. Again, first set, heavy. Heavy for me is 160, 160? Yes, 160 is the heavy set. And then uh, we'll see how it feels. When I was doing pullovers, I switched to the slow and controlled and I did like that method more. So I don't think I'll ever, uh, I shouldn't say ever, but I don't think I'll be going to the kind of higher weight um, version, but uh, we'll see with Rose. Rose, I, I do like the feeling of Rose when it's heavy and slow, so I might just stick with the heavy. We'll see. All right, speaking as a guy who always wore at least a t-shirt, if not a long sleeve t-shirt from, you know, just being fat, always wanted to cover up my body. Um, those of you who only wear t-shirts, 
Once you switch over to a muscle shirt, it's really weird how breezy it is, especially with the fan. Like there's so much wind hitting my nipple, it's kind of weird, I don't know. It's really uh, off-putting. I don't know, maybe that's your thing. It ain't mine. Um, anyways, so that last set, I went too heavy and I should have stopped after the first rep, but I was just ego lifting and I just threw form right out the window. I shouldn't have done it. So now I'm gonna go slow and controlled, lower weight. Put my ego away. Just shove that in my backpack. So going from 160 to 100. Okay, well, I'm gonna be honest, my lats are already pretty done, but I'm not gonna skip out on my favorite back exercise, which is the lat pull down with the D handles. So I'm just gonna do one set just for fun. It might not be, you know, beneficial for me, but it just makes me feel good. And sometimes, you can just do things that make you feel good. They don't necessarily have to be good for you. Just hopefully it's not bad for me. Okay. All right, we're trying something a little different. Um, I just saw a little cover up the nipple. I'm not trying to put a show on for you guys. Um, so look at how short my goddamn legs are. I don't know if it's on camera, but like, ooh, yay. I feel like a little kid sewing his legs, waiting for his mommy. All right, uh, so I saw a little clip of Jeff Nippard talking about um, doing a reverse pec deck, single arm, but facing to the side and getting a good stretch. This way, you're not stopping here, you're getting a, a better stretch. So, might as well give it a shot, see how it feels. Um, I'm probably just gonna do this. If I don't feel good doing it, I'll switch to the regular reverse pec deck. But for now, I'm gonna try the single arm and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. After messing around with the weight, I think 55 is good.
Okay, two sets done, and I can say confidently that I like this exercise. And uh, I think I'll be doing this uh, next back day for rear delts and see how it feels again. And if it still feels really good, I might just no longer do the double hand version and just do the single arm version of the reverse pec deck. But anyways, that's enough filming for now. I'm gonna probably do two more sets, but you'll see me in just a second. All right? All right, let's check the pump. The rear delts feel amazing. Um, I haven't felt this pumped up after a rear delt exercise in as long as I can remember. But anyways, let's check it out. I don't know how it looked. I hope it looked good. Um, again, you can't see much with this shirt on, but whatever. Maybe next time I'll take off my shirt and uh, you can full see the full back. You know what? I'll just do that right now. Take two. All right, okay, that's enough of that. Um, yeah, I am soup. okay, I gotta admit, I did eat the cosmic, or the galactic brownie pure protein bar, and it was good. It wasn't as good as I expected, but it was still good. I still gotta try the churro when they restock it, and I still gotta try the uh, Oreo cookies and cream. I might do eat that tonight if I can't control myself, but hopefully by the, tomorrow, I will be letting you know what I think of it because I definitely will have it by tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I am super happy. You're probably not having a good, as good a day as me um, simply because of those protein bars. <laughs> the, the stupid things that, that make us happy, well, at least that make me happy. Protein bars. Who have I become? Who have I become that protein bars are the highlight of my day? And I had a good day. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow for arm day with a little uh, protein bar review, all right? Goodbye.